We're going to begin by applying smoothie foundation to clean moisturized skin. Choose a shade that is closest to the natural skin color on your lower cheek. It's a good idea to have two shades in your makeup bag, one to match your summer skin and one for your winter skin. Then you can blend the two for the perfect shade all year round. We are blending the sand and ivory shades for Kyla. You can apply the foundation using sponges, a brush or your fingers, whatever feels best for you. I like to apply the product with my fingers. The warmth helps to melt the formula into your skin. Always work from the top down and inside out. Don't apply too much foundation. It's better to work lightly with just a little product at a time and build it up slowly where you need more. Work very lightly with the tips of your fingers. Don't forget your eyelids. Not just for an even tone, but so your eye makeup lasts longer. Remember to blend around your jawline and your hairline. We are going to use the vermi sponge to finish blending. Because it has a nice square edge, you can get it right up under your lower lash line and into the creases around your nose. Now for a little concealer. This is the Clicky Concealer in the gold shade. It's perfect for neutralizing shadows under the eyes. Wipe off excess product from the applicator. You only need to use a little bit. Dot it in a V under the eyes and blend with your fingertips. This is Cover Up Concealer. It has good coverage, so it's the one to use to conceal blemishes. We're using it around the creases of Kyla's nose. Apply just a little and blend it in with your fingertips. Okay, now for a little powder. We're using No Time For Shine powder. It comes in two shades and has its own applicator, which is great for touch-ups. But for a lighter application, I like to use a brush. We're using the Very Me Blush Brush. Swirl it in the powder, tap off the excess, then sweep lightly over your face, working outwards. No Time For Shine mattifies your skin and fixes your makeup. Work really lightly for a nice natural finish. We're going to finish up by using Pitch Me Perfect Skin Glow. This adds a nice little highlight onto the cheekbones. Squeeze a little onto the back of your hand and dot very lightly onto the highest part of your cheekbones. Just keep patting really gently with your fingertips until it's blended in. And there you go, a beautiful natural base for the rest of your makeup. For more great looks, tips and advice, or to see the full product range, visit the Very Me page on the Oriflame website or our Facebook page. Here is a reminder of the products we used in this look.